Ho-ho, my hearties! dinky doo it is just me, Scotty McClure, talking to every single one of you. Bit of a treat tonight, of course, because uh, this is the second of our pop-ups this week. Last night was so successful, I thought we'd just do another one and see how you all were. So, Scotty McClure here, the World Stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, just saying dinky do to every single one of you. And uh, there's David Hammond. Would you like to come on with me, David, and say dinky do? Uh, Mark Jibble's watching. Tony Mack and Reb Hill. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's pop up just for you. Hey, hey, Mr. McClure, says Mark Jipper. Dinky do, Mark. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, a very warm welcome. There's Phil Simon. Keith Watherspoon. Evening, Scotty. This is Tony Mack. Neil Walker. Hi, Scotty. When are you on? I'm on 10 o'clock sharp Sunday nights on the radio. There's Susan Forrest watching. Welcome, welcome, I say, to every single one of you. Jan Monroe Pearson. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Jan Monroe Pearson. How are you? Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, as we say in all the very fine circles. Banks on the holidays, says Michael Paul McVeigh. Excellent, Michael Paul McVeigh. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. And uh, of course, we've got everybody joining us as we speak. You'll see that happening for a serious chit-chat. Evening, Scotty, says the wonderful John Boyle. And uh, Gordon Roddick. Hi, Scotty. You look good. I thank you, Gordon. Is the lighting all right tonight? Because you are a professional television man and you will know. Paul Francis Carroll, one of our finest organists in the world, is watching as well. All the stars join Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live. Dinky do Scotty McClue. It's a story on the ray flow. Where are you calling from, Tori? Andre Flu. The wonderful Susie McGuire there, Rab Free Bigger, is watching Dinky Doo, Rab, and a very warm welcome. Mark Wilson, Paul Francis Carl, I've missed the chat, matey. Well, we need to do a lot more of it, Paul Francis Carl, and I want to hear some of your fine playing. I had a superb free manual over the summer. Hi, darling, says Susie McGuire, Irvin. Susie McGuire, you are perhaps one of the finest broadcasters I have ever heard in my puff. So I'm just telling you straight, now you know. That's it. Fear the horse's mouth, as they say. There's John Boyle. Glad you're back. Yasmin Mohammed. Hey, ah, the lighting's perfect, says Gordon Roddick. Gordon, I value your opinion, and thank you very, very much indeed for that. We're very fortunate to have you join us. Gordon Roddick, folks, um, the uh, one of the first announcers, if not the first, on Scottish television in 1957. So there we are. Wonderful. Gordon will fill us in on the detail. And then he was in charge of transmissions. So everything that you saw on your telly for many, many years, Gordon made that happen. Fantastic. Hi, Scotty. Hope you had a great summer. Yes, we did. Hello, Scotty. This is Alex Robertson. Hello, Alex. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Thank you. Do you remember the guy in Scott FM that said he poisoned his neighbor's cat? You said at the end of the call to the wizard, you need to find him. Did anything come of it? Yes, indeed. It certainly did. And he didn't actually say he'd poisoned his neighbor's cat. All he did was he hinted. He said, I've put stuff down. That was all he actually said. Well, you've not been flying around in your private jet recently, Scotty. You'll end up in the papers, old Mark Jippert. The jet is parked up. I would not risk it. So there we are. All right, big chap. Hope you're doing well. No, you are, says Susie McGuire. Irvin, Susie McGuire. I am not. You are. You are the star. And you need to know that. And I've told you. So there you are. Uh, where's your dog tonight? He's having a wee sleep underneath the desk. He's just there. Carol Morris, dinky doo. Christopher Markey, come and join us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Scotty McClure's pop up just for you to say dinky doo of an evening. And um, that's what we like. You see what I mean? It's very, very important. So you need to tell everybody. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. There was Scotty McClure's live on Facebook right now. We're thinking we might make this regular.
Oh, give me more info. Ha ha, says Nilai Walker. Ah, yes. Good evening, my old mucker. How's things? Long time no speak, says Carol Morris. Lovely to have you with us, Carol. Could you be doing with this, with the, what was that one? Don't know what he's actually saying there. Um, hello, Scotty. Stephen Mingus. Good evening, Scotty. Hope all's well with you. Yes, indeed, Stephen. Last night was such a success. We thought we'd just pop up again and speak to the world. So lots and lots of sharing, please. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Shell James, fantastic. Cheer us up, says John Boyle. I'll do my best, John. I will do my best. I went into the doctors today and he said, yes. I said, could you help me out? He said, which way did you come in? There we are. There's a wee smirk for you. That'll start you off. It's wonderful. I went into the doctors. He said, yes, I've got some medicine for you, Scotty. He said, this is five pounds, and that's four pounds. I said, what is the difference, doctor? He said, a pound. So there you go. That'll keep you out of mischief. Uh, what was the craziest phone call you ever had that sticks in your mind? Well, I think it's got to be uh, Mr. Martin. And Mr. Martin called. If you put in Scotty McClue, Mr. Martin, into Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, you will get a smirk. Uh, I can assure you. Ha ha, says Jan Monroe Pearson. A phone call, I mean, yes, Neil, that's the one. Share 10 times, says John Boyle. I thank you, John. Scotty, give a shout out to John Cameron. So there you are, says Shell James. I shall do shell. Love listening to your old YouTubes and the videos. Pass them on. I know you want to do a TV show. How about Christmas number one, says Alex Robertson. Yes, I think there should be a wee bit of McClue on the telly. We touch on the comedy. Say hello to Savvy Scotty says Rab McMahon of course Rab an absolute privilege what I'm doing here guys I'm just going to do a bit of sharing as we go and if you can do the same Jeff Bernstein will give you a wave because you're there you deserve a wave you all deserve the best of everything by the way Ned McMillan's there hi Scotty hi Ned lovely to have you with us if you want to be shout out come on and give us your crack as they say El Salvador Stallione Saviour a lot happier doing his work. Let Scotty loose. Stephen McFarlane, lovely to have you with us, of course. El Salvador Stallione, saviour. Loose. Yes, we know what you meant, El Salvador Stallione, saviour. You were right to give Mr. Martin a good telling off, says Tony Mac. Of course I was, Tony Mac. I went to the doctors and uh, I said I felt like a biscuit. And they told me I was crackers. Ah, we love all that. I um, was once uh, up in front of a judge for thinking I was a rocket, and uh, but he let me off. <laughs> ah, there we go. Uh, did you do this? John Cameron joined us. Shona McLeod. Everybody's coming and joining us. This is what we want. Get these numbers up. Tell 10 to tell 10. Get spreading it around. Type, 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 type. Uh, Lenai went off. Charles Waite. Hi from the USA. Lenai, hi to you from the USA. Which part of the USA are you in? We're being joined from America, folks. Fantastic. Stephen Mooney, Dinky Doo, Jeff Bernstein. A big wave back to you, Scotty. Can you say hello to my dog, Lenny Bernstein? Lenny, Lenny, Dinky Doo. Was there not a Lenny on, um, what's the, what's the, the soap opera? On BBC, the drama. Yes, there, there was a Lenny on that, I'm quite sure. So there we are. Good evening, Scotty, says Raymond Benson. Good evening to you, Raymond. Lovely to have you with us. River City. There's a Lenny on River City. So fantastic. Billy Hunter's watching. Excellent to have you with us, Billy. And Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, with the exception of Susie McGuire, of course. Um, met the gardeners. We Patterdale, a beautiful dog. That's our new family pet for the future. Yes, we need to get you back in the Northwest Airways. We miss you, says Carol Morris. Fantastic. Used to go out to about nine million people at night. Three big stations. Fell like a pair of curtains. He says, pull yourself together. <laughs> Florida, says Lanai. Lanai is in Florida. Dinky do, Lanai. Excellent. Can every single
know one of you has set your notifications because if we do this regularly, I want you to know Scotty McClue goes live. Love your call with Rob from Southport. Guaranteed to cheer you up. Yes, that will. If you're ever, ever down, folks, and you want to smile, get yourselves on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and uh, put in Rob from Southport. Uh, hi, Scotty McClue. This is John Cameron. Dinky you do, John? Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty from Kefalos in Kos. Kefalos in Kos. Have I said it right? Um, I went into the doctors. I said, I have a chicken bone stuck in my throat. He said, are you choking? I said, no, I'm serious. So there we are. Hey up, Scotty. Good to hear you once again, says Lindsay Lulu Clayton. Lovely to have you. Charles A. Diver. Wonderful stuff. Patrick. Oh, no, from Partick. Sorry, I thought it was Patrick. There we are. <laughs> Patrick, wonderful. Just going to share this to page, folks, and let everybody know that we are on Big Style. So live now. That's all you type in. Just type in live now, and they will come and join us, I assure you. There we are. Excellent stuff. Just lets everybody know what is what. Here I go. Live now. There we are. That's excellent. And bust. Right, that's that one. Um, where have I... What's Neil I. Walker saying? Where have they been since Nation FM? I'm on Nation FM. 10 o'clock sharp, Sunday nights. Don't miss it. 96.3 in the FM. Or www.nationradio.scot. And, of course, Susan McGuire's on that. She does the mid-mornings. Not to be missed outstanding broadcasting so there you are fantastic stuff right i've done a bit of sharing there so if you can all do the same that will let everybody know and i'll share to the uh, scotty McClue group share to a group it says and i shall just stick this in i hope you don't mind folks bit of sharing excellent stuff and um, this has been shared that's what we want and the group have we got the group did we get that so um when am I, when am I, should I do? Yes. Listen, this other machine's a wee bit slow, I have to say. Uh, you, says Eli Walker. Yes, absolutely. I'm just up the road from California, says Tori Andre Flo. Je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. Uh, mais si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends. Tori Andre Flo. Yes, have I said that? Are you French? Uh, um, qu'est-ce que vous, you know, all that sort of stuff, qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Oh, uh, now, uh, what am I putting in here? Scotty McClure. I'd forgotten who I was there, uh, because I'm putting it into the fans group, you see, to let them know that we're on now, and I'll just put uh, live now, live now, live now on FB. All right, line nine of B, and we'll just pop that in there, and that will let them know as well. So, Tori Andre Flo is watching Scotty McClure right now in Scotland, and um, he's uh, just up the road from California. God bless our Susie. She's a laugh on the Clyde Reb Hill. She's not on the Clyde, she's on the Nation Radio. So they are 96.3 Rab Hill. Do not confuse that. If anybody ever asks you what radio station do you listen to, you say Nation Radio Scotland. So there we are. Starts with the end. Nation Radio Scotland. So uh, Tommy Andre Flores, ex Chelsea. Tremendous stuff. Me, Doctor, I broke my arm in six places. Doctor, well, don't go to these places. So there you go. Well, I went into the doctor. He said, what's wrong? I said, I have a very sore arm. He said, when does it hurt? I said, just when I do that. He went, well, don't do that. So there you are. That's wonderful. Um, Lanai went off. Charles Waite says, dinky do. Dinky do to you, sir. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty. Can't you sing my name? El Salvador Savior in your best classic music made in a big shout out for you. There we are. I can. I've just done it. 
Pertic, Pertic, I Pertic, Pertic, Rathsintis, knock. <laughs> um, hello, Scotty, how are you this evening? This is Kirsty Hogg. Very well, Kirsty, thank you so much for asking. Very, very good of you. Um, so there we are. Can you do a lot more sharing? Paul Francis Carlson is absolutely wonderful talent, gifted by the Lord Most Holy, a truly entertaining maestro. Paul Francis Carlson, you are very, very kind. It's just a bit of Barton singing for you. Your tiny hand is frozen. Won't you warm it into my... Oh, all that stuff. There we are. Uh, my wife says she's getting homesick. She's sick of the house. So, <laughs> oh, the Rab, you should take over the... Uh, Scotty, you should take over the tall ship in River City. Do you think I'd make a good barman of the tall ship? Right, sir, what are we all having? Nice clean glass there and a fresh pint. Thank you. And a wee sherry for your missus. There we are. Just one scoop. <laughs> John Cameron is Scotty. I hate rain roofers. Enemy. Quits the weather like the mora. Uh, we get there, Scotty says John Boy. We do. No, Californian fall cup, Scotty. I'm a bairn. Oh, Tony on the floor, of course. Yes, I'd rather meddle with the deal than the Bairn of Falkirk. Remember that saying, the Bairns. The Bairn of Falkirk must have been some real old players, you know what I mean? Some character. Good evening, Scotty, says Shona Singh. Shona Singh. Shona or Shwana? Yes, Shona Singh. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Tori Andre Flo, ex Chelsea legend forward, I know. El Salvador Stallione Saviour. Alan McGee, Dinky Doo, Berta King Patton is watching Rab Bruce. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty, you're looking well. Big Davy Free Irvin. <coughs> Pardon me, Davy. David Keery, wonderful. Let me drink here. Mm. Ooh, that's lush. Absolutely lush. You should try that. It's very, very nice. Um, good evening, Scotty. It's me, um, McClure, live on Scott FM, 100.3 in the FM and 101.1, of course. Absolutely. 100.3 was the, was at the East Coast and 101.1 was Glasgow. There we are, Scott FM. Give a shout out to me, my good lady Adele Imre, says Tori Andre Flo. I shall do, dinky do Adele, for me, Scotty McClure. Susie's voice does it for me, just don't tell my wife, she's next to me, shush, lol, oh, Susie is fantastic. I always say, you know, when I have a wee toast to our wives and lovers, may they never meet. Now, that's that. Don't, don't, don't listen. Just a wee bit of banter. I'm um, so under. Good evening, Scotty. This is Marion Bryce. Nick Baldy is watching. Come and join us, Nick. There's nothing this man can't do. He is human. Well done, sir. A human being. Hopefully a decent human being like yourself, El Savior. Uh, Ronnie Mellon. Scotty, what do you call a farmer with one foot in the door? He's Hamish. Oh, for goodness sake. Shut up, Scotty McClure, says John Cameron. You shut up. Don't you tell me to shut up. Scotty, move. You're over a wee bit. Is that your cell on the poster? There, that one. That's the that's the old dog graduating. And I went along. He's, he's graduated in um, coming back on your own scent. That's what Labrador's graduating. <laughs> there is another one there if you're watching a wee swatch. Do you recognize that one there? And a lovely thistle decoupage that a lovely listener did for me. Tremendous. So there you go. See the thistle decoupage. Wonderful. We like that. Oh, it's all good stuff. Right, you've seen all that now. Andy Hood's watching. Thank you, dear. Elizabeth Campbell. Lovely to have you with us. More sharing, guys. We need to share. We need to get everybody on here and let them know that we are live right now. Scotty, why is six scared of seven? El Salvador, you're going to have to spill the beans and tell us. So there we are. Wonderful. Why is six scared of seven? Um, what did you have for your dinner tonight, Scotty? I'll tell you what I had tonight. Cumberland sausage. 
Now, I don't know if you've ever had a good bit of Cumberland, but it's very good for you. So there you are. So if you're ever fancying a right good bit of sausage, I can recommend the Cumberland. Very nice. Reaches all the parts. Go on, go team Boris Johnson, says Chris Davis. Yes, right. We'll let you get on with that, Chris. Um, I'll have what your drink is to tell you about. Yes, you get yourself a touch of the squash. Scotty, move your head a bit. Is that yourself on the wall? We've just done that, Jock Bums. There I am. And you can see that one. And, of course, the old Scott FM. Do you remember that one? I'll let you see it. I'll see if you remember. Do you remember the... Oh, that's just fallen down. That's Grandpa in the First World War. So there we are. That is Grandpa in the First World War. Fantastic with the Argyles. Oh, was it the Seaforths? Just trying to remember. Anyway, that was him. That was him. A war to the war. But uh, what did I do with that? I've dropped it down. I'll see if I can get it back for you. Fantastic stuff. Excuse me a wee second. <laughs> oh, oh, if you'll pardon the expression. Do you remember that? You'll see that the wrong way around, of course. Scott FM. And do you remember that one? Scotty McClure. Scott FM, just for you, dinky do. Hey, I've got a wee bit thinner in the top since then, of course. Lovely big shock of dark here. Right, we'll put that back there for you. So, Grandpa, so we've got old Scotty McClure just to give you a dinky do. Right, James Clough has joined us. Dinky do, he says. I've got a few points to talk to you about, says Paul Francis Carroll. Can you not call in just now and share it with us, Paul? Paul Francis Cannon, I'm sure you can. Try it, because there's something about sharing, and you might be able to do that with me. Good evening, Scotty. Good to see you, says David Carr. Uh, check out your, I'm not on Messenger, but check out your FaceTime or whatever you call it, and see if we can share it with you, Paul Francis Carl. That'd be good. Legends are a legend, says Michael Paul McVeigh, and you are your salsa. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Have you lost your bonnet? Now, my bonnet's here. I decided, somebody said, you don't really need the bonnet on, Scotty. So there you are. Because 789. Ah, that's why five and six were scared, because seven, eight, nine. Ooh, 100.3 was the West, 101.1 was the East. Absolutely, Alan McGee. How many times did I say that? You're listening to Scott FM, the country's top radio station right across central Scotland. 100.3 in the west, 101.1 in the east. Scotty McClue with you with Scotty McClue's Nightline. Get to the telephones, give us a call. Remember? <laughs> All that stuff. Jerry Brown, Sheriff Scotty. Scotty, you big dafty, is says Stephen Hamilton. We've got to get our wee Facebook page a mention. The Daily Dafty, it's hilarious, full of great banter and puns. It's the best wee page on Facebook, says a guy on the internet. So there's a wee mention for you. In the Scotty James Patterson. Hi, Scotty. Hi, James. You lost your bonnet, says Lisa Terrace. Lisa Terrace, what is this? Scotch mist, I ask you. Stephen Lipton, Dinky Doo, Jeff Bernstein. Great picture of your grandfather, Scotty. We owe them everything for their sacrifice. We do. And the other one was in Gallipoli on horseback with a regiment called the Scottish Horse. You know, he was riding into battle. I dressed up as Scotty McClure at a fancy dress party and won first place at school. <laughs> Good for you, Tony. As I've said on the phone, is that the controversial Scotty I once knew? Yes, John Holmes, it's the same one, but the world has changed. You know, the world was so safe then that we could be a bit dangerous on the radio. But now the world's so dangerous, we have to be safe on the radio. So there you are. Somebody told a joke at the festival and folk were up in arms. You know, I mean, I think nobody has the right not to be offended. 
if you, you see, you have to take offense. You can't give it. So you would need to listen, you know, and take offense. Uh, Scotty, you said you're not a betting man, but why have you got a statue of red rum flying behind you? Scotty gives a tip in the 3.30. Ask it tomorrow. Uh, there they are coming into the final far long. And Scotty McLuhan on the outside. Hope you're well on the inside, of course. Just catching up now. Scotty McLuhan, Scotty McLuhan just by a shot hit. They could do a bit of the old, um, a bit of the commentary there. Good afternoon and uh, welcome to Royal Ascot. David Cordingly, Dinky Do. Evening, Scotty. Evening. JP McCusker, one of our finest broadcasters, Dinky Do. Um, can you remember the Scott FM telephone number? Oh, for goodness sake, that's going back a bit. How many telephone numbers have I had in phone-ins since then? I think you'll need to, I think you'll need to tell me. So there you are. Was that a free phone number? Now, I've got a tip for you, Scotty. Don't bet. Don't bet. We tip. Don't bet. Uh, Scotty clues. I once backed a horse and it fell in the paddock. I used to give a lot of money to sick animals, but I didn't know they were sick when I backed them. Uh, Scotty McLean's nightlife, nightline, 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. It was indeed the old nightline. Kevin Roberts, think you do. Uh, don't take fence. Um, I bet on a horse 20 to 3. Didn't come in until 20 to 4. We are the Vets Land Rover. I did once put a bet on, and the Vets Land Rover came in before it. Every joke is a victim, Scotty, even the banana skin. Oh, now, don't you slip up. Uh, I think I heard you first on Century, run by our recently departed John Myers. I know poor big John, you know, barely 60 and uh, and gone from us, but not forgotten. Uh, thanks for the mention, Scotty. Really nice of you. We shall reciprocate, says Stephen Hamilton. I thank you, Stephen. It's always good to get a wee mention. Wonderful stuff. So there we are. Now, how are we doing for time? We've got a few more minutes. Let's tell 10 to tell 10. Let's get a bit of sharing in there, guys. Scotty, you've got more fun in numbers. <laughs> Mike McCabe, Dinky Do. Wonderful stuff. We love all this. And why not? I say, I'm just going to share uh, to a page. I think that would be quite a good idea. So if you can all share as well, we'd love to do a radio show sometimes with you, Scotty. Oh, for goodness sake, Tony Mac, you don't want to involve Scotty McClue. You want to make your own way. There we are. You are a talent. You need to make your own way. La. And wonderful. I'm an old chap now, you see. I mean, I, I do all this stuff for fun. We like to entertain not just one nation, but every nation. So there you are. And uh, what I'm doing is, have I done that? Well, did I do that? Yes, I think I did. Right, so we know anyway. Um, so wonderful stuff now. Uh, Get in touch. Is there a thing on Facebook there that lets you come on and get in touch with me? Thank you, sir. You're very kind, says Tony Mac. I hope so, Tony. I would like I like to encourage people. Of course, wonderful. Can you say a big dinky do to my beautiful girlfriend, Ali B, says Mike McCabe. Yes, I can. I'm getting it all going up here. I don't know why. I'm sitting straining my eyes trying to see. Um they're all on the yellow pages, says Kevin Roberts. Uh Provost William Henry is watching. Dinky do, Provost Henry. A privilege to have you with us, sir. And welcome, 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 I say. Always good to have you with us. Very, very good. Excellent. Uh, do let me know where you're watching, if you're watching in different parts of the world. I'll take my bonnet off again. Bonnet off are on, folks. What do we think? Evening, Scotty and wee Clyde. Hi, all, says Julie Shaw. Dinky-doo, Julie. Paul McGuinness is watching. Lovely to have you with us, Paul. Welcome, welcome, I say, and dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. So there we are. Um, I can see everything going up here. This is fantastic. We've got the whole lot going. I'll just refresh the page. I think it's always good to refresh the page. 
Um, now, set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClure goes live. Because we used to do a Sunday night. Dinky do, Scotty, says Paul McGuinness. Dinky do, Paul. We used to do a Sunday night. Nice to see you, Scotty. You're looking bra, says Craig Mitchell. Sunday night we did at 9 o'clock. 9 till 10. And it was very, very, very popular. Scotty McClure doesn't look a day over 23. Still got the strong bodybuilder's chest like myself. Oh, yes, Al Salvadori. Yeah, a good bit of muscle for you. Oh, oh, nothing gets past me. Absolutely. Neil Hallgate, uh, excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. And good chat. And um, bonnet on, please, says Craig Mitchell. Right, you don't like the bald pate. You think the bonnet's necessary. Yes, we'll try that. Bonnet off, says Susan in Lancashire. Uh, the guy breaks up with his girlfriend and sings... I can see dear in there. We'll just pop that off, I say. Natalie Mathers, lovely to have you. Hello, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Thomas. <coughs> Always good to have you with us, guys. Excellent stuff. I'm going to see if they'll let me share to um, another group as well. Sometimes they don't like me share to. You look more Laird McClue without the headgear, says Kevin Roberts. I think... So I'll get the headgear off then. Right, off it goes. That's it. That's staying off just now, by the way. Just so that you know. Uh, let me get a, a, a wee group here to share. What have I got here? How about that one? Uh, we'll let that one go and we'll see. Live now. Live now. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. There we are. Live I had to redo that because I put the capitals in live now. Um, what's the picture behind you? That's that's me uh, at the dog's graduation. The dog graduated uh, with a master's degree in coming back on your own scent. So well, that was it. Hat off, says Lenai. Where off channels wait? Thank you, Lenai. Scotty, I had pants in 82 of the same material as your hat. They were very nice, Paul McGuinness. Good for you. I say we like that. Ali B says you can only get a pick of our jammy donuts. Oh, the jammy donuts. So there you go. Jammy donuts. There's a wee shop up in the village in Persia. It was run by a gentleman, and he used to say, you've enough money there now for a chammy donut. Paul Francis Carroll, the Battle of the Organs, matey, a challenge? Yes, I'll have to go and get my organ out, though. It is uh, in another place, and uh, I've only got the, 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 the one big keyboard. Start a poll, Scotty. Hat on, says Lisa Tyler. Well, we might do that. I don't know if I can do a poll while I'm doing this. I need to see all the different things that you can do. Bun it off, Scotty. It keeps you cooler. It does. I don't get the big red, the big red face. Oh, that's tough. You know, you've got to watch. Yeah, it's funny. I've got a friend that goes, oh, no, uh, I don't approve of what you're doing on Facebook, to be honest with you. Yeah. Your voice is wonderful, but your, um, your appearance leaves a lot to be desired. He talks like that, you see. So I said, look. That's what I look like. If you've got a problem with me, that's your problem. <laughs> there you go. Mittens on, says Torrey Andre Flo. We did have the mittens, actually. It's a bit warm, but I've got the fingerless gloves, the shooting mittens. Do you remember? You need to get on TV, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. We do. Television, I think this would go huge on, say, something like, I don't know, ITV or the BBC on a Friday night for uh, half an hour. I share food with my dog. It's always best to send the missus cooking to the lab for testing. <laughs> Give it to the lab. Yes, I think must go to the lab. Labs love it, don't they? You got some food there. Um, did you hear about the dentist who's called Phil McCavity? <laughs> oh, very good. Phil McCavity, absolutely, we like all that stuff. So there we are. Um, I went round to the dentist at uh, 2.30. 2.30. <laughs> it's wonderful. We like all these wee merry jeeps. It keeps us going. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster on the first lot of the internet, and we are live on Facebook Live just for you saying dinky-doo. 
Would you like these pop-ups on a regular basis? Do say, do tell me. Uh, do you ever use your labs for field trials, Scott? I do, Julie Shaw. All my labs have been field trials labs. They're real workers. And uh, all you need to do with them, they've actually got it in them. I'm not the finest trainer in the world, uh, but they've got it in them, and they'll just be sitting beside you, and you just put your hand out. They're watching uh, and everything. But I don't shoot now, you see. That's the thing. Uh, I used to be a very, very good shot, crack shot, but I don't shoot um, unless I was buying for the pot, and you're probably cheaper going to the supermarket these days, uh, to be quite honest. Um, so that's that, but they are great workers. Um, but latterly, old Lord Wreath went a wee bit gun-shy, and uh, when we were out, we used to um, pass the shoots when I stayed in Yorkshire, and um, he just, he'd just make his way home, go, I'm, I'm, I'm away home. Not putting up with this. And we used to go walking in Manchester. We used to go walking round where there was a golf course. And there was one of these huge fences. And um, we loved walking round this perimeter fence. We didn't go on the golf course, round the perimeter fence. And then uh, one day a ball hit the fence. It didn't hit him. And he gave up. Oh, God, he going, no, no. But we don't go down that way. Too dangerous. Um, I remember being in the golf course and a, and a, and a ball hit me on, on, on the forehead, you know. This is my first attempt at golf. And um, then uh, I turned round and a guy shouts, Four! And I thought, I am not taking another three of these. So that was it. So I gave it up. Um, How did the monkey get down the stairs? He slid down the bananaster. <laughs> Ronnie McGee has joined us, dinky do. Oh, yes, the instinct's there. My other half does beating for pheasant shoots. Absolutely. Just watch yourself, though, if you're, you're beating, because if you get some of the some of the knobs with, um, you know, the, the big wigs, the nabobs, and, uh, you know, they're, they're maybe not a very good shot. They might be a very good aristocrat, but they're not a very good shot. Just watch. Watch the old beaters. Um, gay couple. Oh, no, I'm not having all that, Kevin Roberts. Um, more pop-ups, Scotty. Keep up the good work. So there we are. In fact, we'd better take that one out, Kevin. So there we are. Just, just a wee bit far um, for early evening. Uh, Stuart Main, thank you do. Bob McIntosh, lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. You're all watching Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster saying dinky do to every single one of you. If you want to come on, get a wee mention, a wee chat, do feel free to do that. We lost a chap last night. He was cheeking up. He was going over the top. He didn't know where the boundaries were and we just had to finish him off. So he's gone. You know, we can just do it just with a touch, touch of the button here, touch of the screen. It's fantastic. As I say, um, you know, when we had the gremlins in on the radio one night, I was just saying the technology is so good that it's just a tiny touch to make a difference. And my wife says I never listened to her. I said to her, sorry, what was that, dear? So <laughs> The police one stopped me and said, you know, your wife fell out the car at the roundabout back there. I said, thank goodness. I thought I'd gone deaf. So there we are. Scotty, are you anti-hunt? Always a good subject to wind up the antis, says Billy McNaught. I would never, ever, ever um, hunt a fox. You know, I don't mind if they go after a, an aniseed bag or something, but no, I would never, ever hunt a fox. Foxes are beautiful. You'll see pictures of Scotty McClue with the fox. If you go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and you put in um, a wee visitor to McClue Towers, a wee visitor to McClue Towers, write this down, guys, because these are world-famous videos. Everybody sees them. Sorry, not meant to be offensive. Going, no, of course, Kevin. No, of course you didn't. I'm just thinking, we are pre-watershed in the UK, and we're, we're guests in people's houses. So, you know, we like to look after folk. That's why I'm a wee bit cammed doon on the Facebook Live, you know what I mean? Uh, yes, more pop-ups where I think Scotty withdrawals once a week isn't enough, says Julie Shaw. Yeah, but you don't want too much, Julie. Um, Lisa Tarras, three wee foxes. Absolutely, we love the foxes. Um, you know, I have them outside. Sometimes there's a wee fight. But what happened, you'll also see this on Scotty McClue's Another Wee Visitor to McClue Towers. He brought his mate one night. 
So he's out having a wee chat, and I've got some wee um, dog biscuits, and I've a wee scrunch down at my feet there, and doing all that. Oh, wait, are we okay? Oh, no, we're all right, we're all right. So he's having a wee scrunch, and then he goes, uh, I'm definitely against fox hunting. The poor fox have no chances against the big hounds. Yes, I mean, I think when it was an old English tradition, but the problem is they can't eat the fox. And I checked with uh, an old countryman, an old countryman who was brilliant, Toadlers, Toadlers, who used to ring me up in Yorkshire when we were on Magic Radio, right across Yorkshire. And uh, Toadlers would ring up. He was a real countryman. And one night he called and I said, Hi, Les, uh, saw a son owl tonight. And he went, Hi, hello, Scotty. I said, He was low, Les. And oh, you'd frightened him, Scotty. He <laughs> was great. And uh, just for you, because you're a silver fox, I am. I use a wee dye called silver fox. I've actually got jet black hair, but I like to look older and more distinguished, you know. Um, see, this is why hunting's always a hard subject, says Billy McNaught. Yes, absolutely. I never mentioned foxes, says Billy McNaught. No, but any kind of hunting, lamping, hares, dog fighting, any of these things, I think we need to chuck the animals suffering, badger baiting, bear baiting, all these things happened in medieval times, but, uh, you know, they're against the law now and we don't want them. I mean, you still see otter hounds and stuff like that. Fox hunting still happens, Scotty. Happens under the guise of trail hunting. It's disgusting. Anyway, moving on, said Julie Shaw. No, I don't mind if they're dragging a bag of aniseed, but not chasing the wee fox. I watched one sit one morning and there was magpies round him, and he just had his breakfast. He just said, oh. <laughs> and he wasn't bothered by me. Welcome back, Pablo. My phone died, says El Salvador. I know the feeling, El Salvador. You get that quite a lot. It can just happen. Incredible. I hope I've not missed much. A minute missed with Scotty McClure is like an hour passing by in the wink of an eye. Never ever miss a moment of Scotty McClure or you miss a moment of life. That's what I say. I will have to go soon, though, of course. So, uh, because I just realised how quick the time passes. We are just having a wee banter on here. Badger hunting is terrible. You see them down um, every weekend, says Lisa Terrace. Yes, Julie. That's my stage name. Of course it is. Absolutely. Your stage name. We like that. So there you go. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. You've reminded me of a few jokes there, but I shan't. I shan't go there. It's still too early. Pre watershed. Keep it clean now. I'll say keep it fresh. Wonderful. Right. And um, what else have you got to say to me? Gosh, says Catherine Tenney. What do you mean, gosh, Catherine? And uh, I know yours, Pablo, says Jimmy. Uh, put your bonnet back on, Scotty. The light's reflecting off your head, says Jimmy McIlvenny. I'll put it on just for a moment, Jimmy, just to uh, whet everybody's appetite. There we are. Excellent stuff. Um, I, there's something seriously wrong with people who enjoy fox hunting. Uh, just my opinion, Mr. Tony. No, no, I mean, it, it was a blood sport. And you still have shooting angling, fishing, these are all the sort of um, um, higher hegens, fancy, all that stuff. But um, I don't want any creatures suffering in my name. You know, I've, uh, I've put the viewers through enough over the years. <laughs> Rabbiting uh, with ferrets, great day out. Uh, it, it always reminds me of a lovely joke when um, a magician was touring Scotland. And he was up in a pub in um, Aberdeenshire. And uh, there was a real country pub and all these characters are in there with hair growing out their bonnet and what have you. That's better. I can see it out, Scotty. Top man. Uh, I'd love to sit in a pub post-watershed firing jukes at each other, Scotty. Says Kevin Roberts. Absolutely, Kevin. Absolutely. And, uh, oh, no, I, I like a merry jape. Don't get me wrong. But um, anyway, I was going to tell you. So this magician's touring Aberdeen. And uh, good free range food, Billy. I love ferrets. Used to have two house ferrets, great wee pets, Julie Shaw. And um, anyway, so he's touring Aberdeen, a magician in a pub, right? Let's get back to this. And um, he's going there, and then he points to this gamekeeper and he goes, You, sir, 
Would it surprise you to know you have two live white rabbits in your pocket right now? And the guy goes, I would, because I have two ferrets in there. <laughs> All that sort of stuff. So there we are. That was the old days. Bonnet off. Remember, it's off. So wonderful. Reminding me at times. I got to bonnet off. Wonderful. Good talking to you, Scotty. Good night, sir. Keep up the great radio work. I will. We're just about out of time on here. And it's been wonderful being with you. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue saying dinky do live for you here on Facebook Live. Lol, says Julie Shaw. Absolutely lol to you, Julie, as well. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do will just stay. I'll go. I'll tell you what I'll also do. I'll pop this up on YouTube and um, cheers mate another night for the aunties says Billy McNaught absolutely Julie shall sing lol and what I'll do I'll pop this up on Facebook and we'll premiere it so if you want to hear your name shouted out you get yourself on there Good night, Scotty love to Lord Clyde Good night, Julie and love to you and to your family love to you all Mwah. thank you so much for watching tonight very very much appreciated and um, if you like it, of course, you might want to get yourselves on to Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. And on there, you will see a link to PayPal. And if you want to put a pound in, that would be superb. I'll tell you why I'm asking you. Um, Stephen Milton says, thank God the festival finishes on Monday. This place is far too busy. I took my cousin up to Edinburgh Castle. It's just about £20 each to get in. Unbelievable. So there we go. Martin Road, Dinky Doo. Good night, Scott. It's the King Mitchell. Yes, if you want to put a pound into Scotty McClure's PayPal, that'd be great because it helps. I've put thousands and thousands of pounds into radio over the years and I can't do it all myself. So it would really help if everybody stuck a quid in because it, it then helps with a wee bit of advertising, little bits of equipment and gets us to bring the show up to standard. Murphy says it keeps hot. Things cold and cold things cold. <laughs> Absolutely. I remember a chap saying that his flask was wonderful for that. He had an ice cream and some hot coffee in it. Right, I'm away. Cheery bye. Dinky do. Love to every single one of you. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vitar zain au revoir and a cheery oh. That's me. I'm away to get my bus. Cheery bye, everybody. Dinky doo.